Hello everyone. Sarve Janaha Sukino Bhavantu. I am Dr. Anirudh Jagannath. I am a practicing neurosurgeon at Astor RV Hospitals, JP Nagar, Bangalore. Today I would like to chat about a common condition which we see in our day-to-day -day practice called as idiopathic intracranial hypertension. It's also called as pseudotumor cerebri or benign intracranial hypertension. It's a common condition seen in young women, mostly between the ages of 20 to 45. And the incidence of this illness is in the range of 3 to 4 per lakh of population. In this condition, patient presents with significant severe headache, gradually increasing in severity. And the headache increases on certain actions like coughing, sneezing and straining on stools. The patient can also have blurring of vision, sometimes acute onset visual deterioration and sometimes double vision. The patient can also complain of a buzzing sound in the ear, what we call as pulsatile tinnitus. So what happens in this condition is basically the pressure within the cranial cavity increases and that pressure gets transmitted onto the optic nerve which is the nerve of the eye and that causes visual deterioration. The causes for these problems are too many. It can be caused by various medications, it can be caused by obesity, it can be caused by hormonal therapy, for example, as a part of infertility treatment. Sometimes there can be anatomical abnormality like venous stenosis that can cause idiopathic intracranial hypertension. When we have a patient like this, we do a multidisciplinary treatment and we approach from different uh, departments and evaluate this condition. Initially, we do an ophthalmological examination. We do a fundoscopy to look at the pressure on the nerve head, the nerve of the eye, that is the optic nerve. If there is papilledema, then we subject the patient to a visual field testing and we check for enlargement of the blind spot. If that is there, patient will undergo an MRI of the brain to look for other causes of IIH. Sometimes, to confirm this, we do a procedure called as lumbar puncture, wherein the CSF, the cerebrospinal fluid, which is basically the fluid in the brain, will be tapped at the level of lumbar spine, that is at the back, and we check the pressure within the brain. If the pressure is more than 25 centimeters of water, the diagnosis of IIH gets confirmed. The treatment for this condition uh, has uh, many components. The most important and the essential component of this condition is weight loss. So weight loss significantly helps in this condition. Sometimes the patient will also need a medication called Diamox to reduce the production of the cerebrospinal fluid which in turn reduces the pressure within the brain. When there is an imminent vision loss or when there is no response to the medical therapy, we neurosurgeons perform neurosurgical therapy in these conditions. So we commonly perform what we call as ventriculoperitoneal shunts or a thecoperitoneal shunt and divert the CSF so that the pressure inside the brain reduces. When there is a venous obstruction, we can also do a minimally invasive endovascular therapy and we can stent across the venous sinus and correct the actual abnormality. So these procedures are expected to have good outcomes in these patients and the most important thing in idiopathic intracranial hypertension is the accurate diagnosis. We at Astor RV hospitals use a multidisciplinary approach and this condition requires a neurologist, a neurosurgeon, a neuroradiologist and an ophthalmologist to have seamless consultation and uh, effective treatment. Thank you.